Oh yeah, you'll have to kill this liquor. Or just walk. How about I sprint? How about I sprint and do that? How can he slap? Go through the office, 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 office. This way? Yes. I went through it. No, run, 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 run. Run to the door. Do I Run need? to the door, Mike. Do I need to? Is he following me? I don't know, probably. Doesn't look like it. Nah, he isn't. Doesn't sound like it. All right, and now just go out the area you came in. Yeah, I did. No, 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 no. The, um, the, under the big statue. <laughs> Leon, Leon's got a, he's, he looks like he's about to cry. He's Leon a, has had a tough day. <laughs> if, if any of this stuff, if all of this stuff happened to me over the course of a month, it would be a really rough, would, a really rough go, but it's all been in the last 24 hours. Yeah. All right, and so before you leave, go to the item box. It is in the last 24 hours. In the last 24 hours, I have realized the dead can come back to life. I can't kill them by shooting them in the head like I would a normal human being. They absorb several bullets. Also, some of them have mutated and become giant walking terrors. Also, some of them have mutated and they have giant tongues and can kill me in two or three hits. Also, the woman that I have a rage boner for is currently lying in a garbage pit with a giant metal rod <laughs> stuck in her leg. Also, I figured out I'm in love with this woman. Also, I just met this woman. Yeah, it's not been a great day. It's been a rough day. Take the stars badge. Take the elevator. I don't mind you bossing me around, because if I have to figure this stuff out on my own, we're going to be here for quite some time. Well, I mean, you could... I I could open the map every five seconds and try and navigate myself. You're but... smart enough. You could figure out how to go through the game. I'm just telling you how to get the extra shit. Am I smart enough? Yes. Do I have the patience? No. I think you do. I think if you play this game on your own, you'll probably really enjoy it. Eh, maybe. Keep I going down. I've been thinking about this, and it doesn't feel like my kind of Resident Evil. I understand you like it, and I'm not saying it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination, but there's something wrong with it for me. I'm not sure what just yet. Oh, this is where I use that USB stick, huh? Yes. All right. Use the stars badge. Yeah, those are the Magnum parts. Desert Eagle parts. Why don't you pop those on that Desert Eagle? Because it'll make the gun bigger. Look at that. It's kind of ridiculous. It is kind of ridiculous, but whatever. <laughs> who cares? It's It does so much more damage now. Like, if I'm trying to come up with criticisms for the game, all I can really come up with is, well, I'm not good at navigating, so maybe that's one of the things that comes to mind is I get lost a lot, and that's really on me because I'm not good with maps. The reason... I think one of the reasons I like this game so much is because it it is... It is just a modern-day remake of Resident Evil 2. Mm -hmm. And that was the one that I liked the most. Granted, I liked Resident Evil 4, but Resident Evil 4 was not a good Resident Evil. Well, Resident Re Evil 4 was a good... It was a good action game? Yeah. It was a terrible survival horror game. There have been a lot of different genres that Resident Evil has taken over the years, so it's difficult to say what makes a Resident Evil game, but it's certainly not the uh, kind of so same kind of game as this one. I, I feel like a good Resident Evil game is one, two, uh, I guess Code Veronica. Oh, you're, you're listing off the good Veronica, you're, yeah. the, good, the good games. The ones that are, the, that I would consider a Resident Evil game. Mm -hmm. um, but you were saying, uh, one and two and Code Veronica are ones, and Code Veronica is pretty fun, I do enjoy that one. Code Veronica, yeah, I mean, and I, as far as I'm concerned, that's a good Resident Evil game. That is, you're fighting a bunch of zombies, it's survival horror, you have to worry about conservation of ammo, things like that. Resident Evil 4, you didn't really have to worry about ammo conservation. No, nope, they just threw it at you. They could, you could kind of just go willy, you were always like right on the verge of I have no ammo, but you always did have some ammo. Mm -hmm. But it's not really the ammo that makes or breaks a Resident Evil game. Go it's up. the kind of it's the kind of style of the game. This is it's, definitely survival horror. And honestly, maybe that's my problem because as much as I liked Resident Evil 2 back in the day, that was not my kind of game either. Survival horror is just not my cup of tea. So that would make sense for me. That yeah, maybe that's why I'm not a big fan of this game is because it's survival horror and I'm not no door. There you go. It's dark, couldn't see. Yeah, maybe that's why I don't like this game as much as you do, because I don't like survival horror as much as see, you do. See, I always, I, I grew up on survival horror games, and I, it's like now, it's kind of pointless to call it a survival horror game, because there's really not a survival aspect. I mean, yeah, there's healing items, but there's healing items in most games. It, that Just, is certainly taken on more of an action ex aspect of it, yeah. I mean, like, I guess now when you say survival game, people think about, like, 
I guess technically Minecraft or games like Rust. <laughs> oh yeah, those are those are survival games. Where you have to manage a bunch of stats. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so I guess you could say that it isn't technically a survival horror game, or it's it's not a survival game. It's just a horror game. But yeah. whatever. Yeah, instead of yeah, those those games back in the day, it was a survival game because you had to manage your inventory and your health, and it was a trade-off. Do I want to use the bullets here? Do I want to use my health here after I get bitten? It, it, do I, and you're trying or to do I want to do I want to wait until I'm even more damaged? But I might just get immediately one shot by something. So it was it's a lot of figuring out how you're gonna do stuff. And you had all the spit things in the correct spot. Yeah, that's good to know. Okay. Yeah. There, Ada? You have no idea where Ada is, Leon. As far um, go back to the inventory real quick. Yeah, might as well take something out quickly. We gotta, I, I, I think we have a boss fight coming up. Oh, you think we should prepare for that then? Yeah. Okay, so we got three powerful weapons, uh -huh. well, the handgun, and uh, some mag ammo, some handgun ammo, uh -huh. one set of healing items. Why don't I get a little bit more then? I would just bring one other, yeah. That'll work. Red, blue, green, blue, green. We got a lot of health right now. And the chemical flamethrower. That's fine. That's good. You don't need the flamethrower right now. At the moment, maybe not. It's not going to work great for you. Okay. Handgun. This is this will be good. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Ada's in there. I'll release you, Ada. Damn it. You need the power on uh, first. I will. I'll, I'll release you, Ada. <laughs> I will turn on the power and then release you, Ada. Oh, after I feed myself some plants, yummy, yummy. Wow, suddenly I'm getting a lot of plants. I wonder what the circumstances. Gee, could uh, be. why am I getting so many items? I hope a boss fight isn't coming up. You gotta don't get, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I'm trying to figure out where the power switch is. There it is. No. You have to get both of them into the red bars. Did, did it. it? I could have done that strategically, but I just flip switches until I got it. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. It's pretty easy. Okay. Oh! <laughs> uh, Jesus whoa, whoa, whoa. I probably don't want to be standing in that, huh? Whoa, hey! That's a bit rude. Coming, okay, so we can come through the walls, come through the oh ceilings. Oh, you're approaching me. God, okay. This is, is there's no duck function, so I'm kind of screwed. What if I hide in the fire? Then he has to reach down in the fire to get to me, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. You no, know, that's, okay. What's the best way out of here? Um. You kind of yeah. just have to wait. I uh, just gotta wait for that fire. Hopefully he rips a door open or something. Or the door explodes. No, or I just get my face ripped open. I don't have to think about it anymore. Eh, eh, eh. Stop. Stop. Fire. fire. If I set myself on fire, he can't touch me. Yes. Yes. A brilliant plan. Uh, I'm in caution right now. I'll just use that quickly. <laughs> While I'm on fire. Hey, it's Tyrant Guy. Oh, he's bigger now. No, that's Birkin. Oh, okay, that's Birkin. That's the doctor. That's, uh... Ah, the good doctor. Yeah. I'm so glad you're here. I have this itch. Um, yeah. I, d I wouldn't... Don't shoot him yet. Don't shoot him yet. Okay. Just run. Save ammo. Yeah, just run. I have to find a way to weaken him first. Otherwise, I'm just wasting my bullets. Oh, uh, it sounds like he might be right so, behind me. You remember the boss from Resident Evil 4 where you smacked him with a crane? Oh, uh, the final boss? Yeah. Yes, I remember that. Hey, ammo. I saw some ammo down here. Get it? Get the ammo. Yeah, that'll help me out. Yeah, ammo. Ah! <laughs> ammo didn't save me! Uh, is that thing gonna come? Oh, oh, oh! It's swinging around! No, uh, you have to you have to push the button to make it swing back. But whoa. I would, um... Yeah, there we go. And swing back! Swing back! Hit him! Hit him! No... Oh, it took too long to get back. Oh, man. Lure him over here. Lure him over here. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that, that thing is uh, a bit wider than I thought you it was. You are now a smear <laughs> on the side of that. <sighs> I'm ready for you. Well, I'm not ready for you. I'm not ready for you. That was a good dodge. Yeah, thank you. Oh, eyeball. Eyeball. Whoa, I didn't like that. <laughs> Being shot in the eye made him a little irate. Ah! Oh, uh, that wasn't even intentional. Whoa! <laughs> oh, brother. I am going to die multiple times. Touch. All right. No. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. I wouldn't like it if you hurt me. Don't hurt me. Yes. 
Uh, 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 oh! Okay, wow. That thing, that thing circles around a lot faster when it reaches the midway point. I feel yes, like. Yes, it does. Okay. And uh, it, uh, hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm just gonna let you. The do game this will tell me what to do. What, what is the game telling me not to do? Don't get caught in your own trap. Yeah. Yeah. I'll figure that out. I'm gonna spend my little time over here, kind of juke him, kind of juke him. Yeah, yeah, and that crane's gonna come. There it is. There she is. Woo! <laughs> oh. He's not a one-shot guy, huh? No, you gotta Whoa, do it again. Whoa, that, that was weird. Let's see how his face is sloughed off. Yes, and another face has spawned out of his out of his back. Whoa! Yes, it has. Yes, it has. I think what I need to do is get him over here and shoot him in the eyeball to stun him, and I think that's what the strategy is. But I'm... Uh, yeah, I also don't want to get knocked off by him if that's a possibility. I don't know if you can. Uh, whoa, whoa, I'm trying to flip a button. Do you mind? Flipping a button here. Flipping a button here. Flipping a button here. Uh-oh. Uh, knife, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Knife. Oh, no, that was your infinite knife. That's fine. I'll get it back. I'm not going to get it back. Oh, God. Wait, it came back on its own. What? I didn't hit the button yet. You did hit the button, and then he grabbed you. So you got hit by the crane because it was moving the whole time. Uh, I'll get it. Don't worry. You want me to do it? Yeah, uh, you want to do it? Do you want me to? Do you want to? No. Do you enjoy the game? I do enjoy the game. I enjoy it a lot, which is why it hurts me physically. My stomach is actually knotted up from watching you fail. Oh, I'm sorry you have to suffer. I'm sorry you have you to know, suffer. I've, I've heard people say before, it's fine. Failure is a normal part of life. It's good to fail. But it's actually hurting me. But you're not the one who's failing. Whoa! Oh, come on! That's a big swing. Um, I would uh, uh, I'm over not here. stand I'm over, over here. here. Over. I would not stand over here. I would not stand over. Oh, come on! I made it that time. I made it. We're just gonna have to have a super cut of just Mike just going. Gunk, 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 gunk. Just how many times the crane hits Mike? We're gonna have to pan the camera over to the adjacent wall and see all the Leon smears. There's just twelve of them <laughs> on the wall. Hey, thirteenth smear is free. Good punch card. If I, oh, yeah, see, that's my problem. That's my problem. I gotta get him over here without getting caught in it myself. And. You you go, were go, on the go, right go, track. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on. You were on the right track. Yeah, I need to stun him. The problem is when I go over to flip the switch, he walks right up to me and then. Uh, I so, stun okay. him first, then push the switch for the second oh, time. But it takes so long for that thing to swing. I say, not being fast enough to outrun it several times. I don't want to waste my ammo though, that's important. Yes. Also, dying is more important. Don't do that. So I, I guess I will do that. Okay, here I am. Come here. Come here. Get juked. Get juked. And now I flip the switch. And we'll see. But And is it gonna come by fast enough or is he gonna jump out of it? Oh. Well, I tell you what, that ain't gonna help me in the slightest. I don't feel like that's doing a whole lot. There we go! It did enough. And now you gotta do it one more time. Oh, is it just? It's not best of three. It's two times. Oh, okay. And it started you over again. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a flashbang to your right. Well, uh, yeah, he's, he ain't happy about having have oh, my face. <laughs> my face. I'm over. It's been a real bad day for Leon. I'm over here. You should try stunning him. Leon and the no good, very bad monsters. Wee. I should try stunning him. There we go. He's stunned. Probably. No, now, don't walk out there. Now I got you. Say your Don't prayers. walk out there. Don't walk out there. <laughs> I'm just making you mad. Because I know it's going to kill me. Yeah, see. It, and like, now you got to do it the third time. I knew it. Oh, wait. No. Oh, oh wait. The, the eyeball is like, wait a minute, hang on, I didn't plan for this. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, if I look around a bunch, maybe it'll help. Fuck, it didn't help. I got squished. I'm an eyeball. What else am I going to do? Look around? Oh, that's what I'm doing right now. No, Leon. Spoiler alert, it isn't. Also, there was that handgun ammo you missed. Yeah, Leon, if we don't see him die, he doesn't die. That's how this whole thing works. You know by now. <laughs> 
It's locked. Alright. Let's figure out how to. <laughs> I just wanted you to stop saying boop 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 boop, so I had to make you face palm for a second. Boop 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 boop. What you again, eyeball man? Come on. The right. door just closes and crushes him. Over here. You sound like you're doing pretty well. Did you have a good nap? I was getting worried there for a sec. Ooh. I can't get it out. Don't, don't pull it out. Just do it. I can't walk like this. Yes, you can. Okay. It's gonna hurt. So what you're saying right now is Leon's doing a bad thing. Yeah, he should know better. He should have bandaged it, bandaged it up as it was. Oh, uh, I forgot that Resident Evil has the... I forgot that Resident Evil has the magic healing potion that you get your hand cut off and you can just attach the hand to it and pour healing potion well, on it and you'll be yet. fine. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. I haven't engineered that specific strain of virus. Oh, uh, I guess that's true. Get out of here. Well, you still can. I'm not just gonna leave you. Not like this. I love you, person I just met. The situation's worse than I thought. You're not getting rid of me that easy. You protected me. Now it's my turn. I didn't realize we were keeping score. I'm just here for the wristband. Grab my shoulder. Don't push it, rookie. Okay, time out. <laughs> Watch your step. You wanna help? We have to get to the nest. Nest? Umbrella's lab, right beneath us. Net let it slip. That's where the virus samples are. You up for this? I think I could fit it in my schedule. I don't know, I'm not the one who just had a giant piece of metal stuck in his leg. Her leg. Yes, ma'am. So we have to go down even further? We're already in the underground multi-leveled sewers. You see, there's a lab underneath the sewers, underneath the museum, which is actually a police station. Hey, Carl, take us down to Nest. How deep does this thing go? Spans our ticket to All the way to the nice. top. Where'd you get that? Borrowed it. Anyway, we're almost there. Borrowed it. So that that shrapnel in your leg probably makes it difficult for you to walk, but I think you're doing fine. Also, you're clutching your, your chest, like maybe some shrapnel got in your chest. You all right? Uh, I think she probably broke a rib or something, mm -hmm. or she's just playing it up. Uh, she's below. To throw Leon off. Or, I <laughs> pushed her. Damn leg. Let me carry you. No, that'd only make me feel worse. Alternatively, maybe she's below 100% condition, which means you have to limp. It's mandatory. It's mandatory yeah, training. True. You have to limp and also put your hand on your belly. Also, the uh, the high heels are uh, really driving her bunion crazy. Mm. Oh, I got these brutal corns on my feet. That's how Ada sounds now. <laughs> she she fell, landed on her head, and now she speaks like that, huh? Oh God, my feet are freaking killing me. Oh man, my boss is gonna have a heyday. That should take us where we need to go. Should it? So yeah, if you hadn't gone and grabbed the parts for the for the um. The Thank lightning you. hawk, oh, yeah. you can't get them past this point. I see. The point of no return. After you, ladies first. And it falls down immediately. Mm. Oh, it stares. Okay. You want to drive? This may be a one-way ride. So be prepared, Leon. Oh, I got to get those magnet parts. Hold on, I'll be right back. This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final destination. You got it, disembodied voice. Oh, I hope nothing jumps out on us. You know what I was thinking? I can't wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. Yeah. Agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon. Trust me? No. You trust me? Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Right. I, I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Yeah, pretty hefty guarantee. You say it yourself. 
It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. Look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm gonna finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. You gotta be on my legs, legs. I'm not just gonna leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? Aww. She's a secret agent. She's got poison on her lips. She's poison ivy. Since when do you know anything about Batman villains? I gotta see this through. And I want to see you again. I she's just, she is just playing him for the fool. Yeah. They played us like a damn fiddle! They're actually playing a violin right now. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. <laughs> Look at you, your half off drinks at the club. Okay. <laughs> But you have to pretend you're a girl, because that's the only way you get half off. I'm counting on you. So this doesn't really get me half off drinks then, does it, Ada? <laughs> okay, I'll pretend to be a woman. Wait, do I have to be over 21? Uh-oh. That's going to be a problem. I'm 19 years old. <laughs> I think he was like 19 in the, in the first game. Yeah. I think he was, actually. I, yeah, of course, after I completed my police academy training. Okay. That was fun. This has been fun. It's been a fun, fun time. Is there a typewriter around here? Uh, that's a good question. There's not one up here. <laughs> stairs go nowhere. <laughs> What's the point of having these stairs here? Oh, there's a typewriter coming up. Not, yeah. There's not a, a stairs. Nah. Yeah. All right. After you go past these concrete pallets, they're concrete for some reason. Wait, where? Oh, these things? I was just making a joke that those pallets are concrete. They, they do kind of look... Well, these, these actually look like plastic. I know, but from a distance, they look like concrete. Yeah, they do. That's always a bit of a waste. You know, plastic skids, plastic pallets are all right, but wooden skids usually do the job just as good. I feel like it's kind of wasteful to make them out of wood, though. How so? Well, because you gotta make a, you got to use a bunch of wood to make them. You can't really recycle it. I mean, you can. You can turn it into wood chips, but I feel like making them out of plastic is a little bit better just because they might last a little bit longer. Yeah, but what happens when you're done with the plastic? That's true. The plastic is not even biodegradable. Anything you make with the wood, maybe save for the nails, can be re recycled into the earth. I guess that's true, yeah. If you made them out of dense enough plastic, they would last a lot longer. Then you could theoretically melt the plastic down and recycle it. How many... How many pallets have you worked around? Probably not a lot. I mean, you did work at supermarkets, so maybe you've seen a couple of them. G viruses. Oh, okay, I need, I need to save because it's been a long night and I'm getting pretty tired. We need to call it right here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, well, now go kill Ada. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That's that's my magnum. Hold on. <laughs> nope, that's not that. That. No, oh, hold on. We're. Oh, okay. I have way too many weapons equipped right now. Hold on a second. I wanted to try and use the flamethrower. There we go. Yeah! Okay. I wonder what happens if you use that on Ada. Wait, is Ada still down here? Oh, yeah, she's, she's in the cart. She's, hey, Ada, Ada, hold on. Don't go anywhere, I got something to show you. We gotta cauterize that wound, Ada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, don't, we can't let that virus escape or whatever it is, right? I'm certainly not a psychopath. I'm certainly not evil in any way, shape, or form, Ada. Ada, stay right there, I've got something to show you. Oh, it's locked! What? Ada, don't you trust me? Ha! <laughs> and on that day, Mike revealed his true colors. Ada! Ada, let me in! I was just kidding, I love you! Maybe I can squeeze it into the cracks. <laughs> Alright, fine. I mean, that is technically what they used flamethrowers for. <laughs> Alright, well clearly that's not gonna work. It's bulletproof glass. Mm. Ada, stay right there. I'll be right back, I promise. <laughs> Ada, I love you! <laughs> Let me show you how much I love you with my love bullets! They're bullets of love! Oh, barrel's overheating. Hang on, I gotta switch weapons. Love missile! I'm like a very angry Cupid! Love me! I gotta say, you think that train might be a little more destroyed than what you see right now? <laughs> Yeah, no, sure, it's fine. That makes sense. Yeah, that would totally work.
You know, I like this plant, but I don't really care for the color. 